Welcome to um, Communication Technology. This is your first unit, uh, Using Technology to Communicate. This is the introduction to what we are going to be doing uh, for the entire semester. Um, we're going to in introduce it today and then break it down deeper as we go through the year. Okay, first we always ask, what is te uh, communication technology? Well, this is a technology that we use to enhance our communication. So, uh, as you can see, it says a system that uses technical means to transmit data from one thing to another or person to another. So, we can think of cell phones uh, talking to each other. <clears throat> That's the most common that people come up with, computers. Uh, some of the things we don't think of is we are communicating through um, audio, through um, television, through the radio, uh, the t-shirts that we wear, the shoes that we wear. It's, it sends a message of uh, brand and, and, and advertising of some things. Uh, so we, there's plenty of ways to uh, transfer data from one thing to another um, or information. Um, and that's what we call communication technology. Okay, things that we want to communicate, we, we mentioned about um, the advertising, the t-shirts, the, t the billboards, um, uh, radio announcements, and, and so on. Uh, the things that we use are, is ideas. Um, we exchange information and emotions. Okay, so think of ideas... Uh, we want to have an ad advertising campaign to uh, end bullying. Okay, that, those are ideas. Uh, we're trying to stop bullies in schools and, and workplaces and so on. So those are the ideas that we convey as something that we communicate. Information. Um, if you guys think about the bell schedule that we have put all over the wall at school, it, it tells us first blocks 810 to 937 and so on. Uh, those are that's information that we need to know. Um, so th those are things we communicate. And the last is emotions. Um, we really communicate emotions and, and we use emotions um, to actually help you remember uh, music. Think about music. That that is a message, and it's uh, emotion. And we can listen to it and we get emotion from it. We we seem happy or or, or excited from these different types of uh, entertainment. Okay, there's three things that we communicate. We said is emotions, ideas, and information, but we're going to do it in three different ways. We're going to inform people. We're going to try to persuade people and entertain people. As I mentioned before, we entertain with movies and, and, and books and televisions and, and music. Um, we persuade people for advertising, enticements. We, we try to get them to do what we want or purchase things that we want. And then we inform people with news broadcastings, radio announcements. Um, so there's three different ways to get our information across. Now, there are four types of goals or types of communications, a way we communicate, and these are kind of easy to remember, to understand. Um, if you, there's two, pe two things involved. There's people and there's machines. And we can go back and forth, people to people, people to machine, machine to people, and machine to machine. And so this is uh, just a way to understand uh, how things are communicating. Uh, when you go up to the traffic light, the traffic light is telling you to stop. That's a machine to a person. Okay, so the uh, machine is telling you, hey, stop, it's time to go. Um, it, when you get woken up, And machine to machine, if you think about it, um, if you are printing something from your computer, you hit print, It talk, your computer talks to your printer, and um, it prints out. So the machine is talking to the machine in that case. Okay, communication systems. Well, these are the different categories that we have here at Frontenac. Uh, we have combined a couple. Um, we so we'll, we'll kind of go over it. Uh, you are in communication technology, so um, you're going to cover all these except for one of them. Uh, the technical graphic communication, that's a form. If you guys remember back when you were in foundations that we did the uh, 
AutoCAD program where we produce drawings. That's the technical graphic. It's communication, communicating to the people out building products. Um, there's many ways to, to make those, but um, we are not going to do that in class. We have another class for that called de Design and Engineering. Now we're going to focus on printed graphics, which is graphic design and the printing uh, processes, photographic communication, telecommunication, and the internet uh, computers. Now, uh, let's go to the printed graphics. We'll go uh, in depth for a little bit. Um, it was the first mass communication system. Um, we produced the first printed product. If you guys can guess, it was the Bible that was produced. Um, that was the first printing process that we printed. Um, but So if you think of printed graphics, anything that can be printed. Uh, it's very simple to think of. Again, you got your shirts, you've got bottles, you've got um, go to Walmart. Everything packaged has printing on it. Um, think of Christmas, you have your wrapping paper. Everything is printed nowadays. So it, we'll cover a lot in this chapter, um, this unit, on how things are, are printed. Okay, in this one, if you think of it, it's photograph communication. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory using photographs to to make a message it's not going and making a selfie or taking a selfie it's it's producing some photos to convey a message um, so if, you, if we're going to learn how to use the camera we're going to have how to you make good photos so you can produce quality work okay telecommunications um, it's kind of easy to remember it's just long distance communication so think of everything that you can do long distance uh, we can communicate over the phone long distance television they record um, things in Hollywood that we can watch uh, radio we can shoot it over um, the radio towers and get information over long distance so telecommunication is the is long distance communications we are going to learn how to do um, some of those if we get time to it, make it make a commercial at the end of the year, uh, kind of have fun with video. Again, I'm going to go through this real quick because we're not going to cover it much. Um, I just want you to understand um, that t technical graphics is our class called design engineering. Um, it's sending a message, typically a piece of paper showing people how to create, uh, assemble, install um, different products. So. Um, maintenance books you will come across sometime in your life those are created um, with technical graphics computer internet is the base of all graphics and all com uh, things anymore um, the world is going to computers so we have to understand how to use them uh, we use the computer we use the internet on almost everything that we do anymore um, so we must understand how it works uh, by that we have uh, different parts. The CPU, that's the brain of the computer, that's the main part of the computer that we need to understand. It's a central processing unit. Uh, the RAM, random access memory, that is temporary memory. So when we turn the computer on, it's processing information. That is your RAM that's processing. Now, the ROM is the read-only memory. That is the permanent memory. That's your, like your hard drive, your thumb drives that you put in. Those are um, the permanent memory. Unless you delete it, it will not change. The RAM, if you turn the computer off, it's no longer being used, so it, it wipes it clean. Um, then we have output and input devices. Your output is anything putting information to you. Input is anything going into the computer, such as mice, keyboards, uh, output, you can think of the monitor, speakers, uh, printer, etc. And last about the internet, I want to talk about your .com, .edu, .gov, .net, .org. These are the main ones that you normally see. Um, if you think about it, um, most that you see is .com. That is your, well, my thing just went wiped. So we'll go ahead and go back to it real quick. Um, but the dot coms are the main things that you normally see. Um, they are commercial organizations. 
you do see .org quite a bit, um, and .edu, four-year colleges, government institutions. Those are some good sites to get information from just because it is the government. It's going to not give you false stuff. The .coms, however, anybody can get a hold of. I can make a .com and say some in, uh, incorrect information, and people believe it. Um, so that's kind of why we need to, to watch what we search, uh, make sure it's appropriate, make sure it is correct information before we assume that the Internet is always true.